Chekhov, what do you think of my plan to improve security aboard ship by implementing daily searches of all low-ranking crew members for contraband? No, I don't think it will work. I believe it will be counterproductive. How would you like to spend a week in sickbay with low-power phaser burns to your fingers? Um... Well, or perhaps an hour in the agony booth would change your mind, eh? Hmm. Upon reflection, I uh, think frequent searches is a great idea. I, of course, overheard your remarks. Uh, y- y- yes, sir. Sir. The argument you are employing, Mr. Sulu, is not logical. In fact, it exhibits the fallacy of argumentum ad baculum, also known as the appeal to force. I thought Security Chief Sulu was very persuasive. That may be so, Navigator Chekhov, but the form of the argument is invalid. This fallacy is an argument where force, coercion, or the threat of force is given as a justification for accepting the conclusion. But, sir, I only... If I may continue. While your tactic of physical intimidation and domination of your subordinate through force are to be commended as effective means of serving the Empire's objectives, your statements are still technically a logical fallacy, since you provide no evidence that your plan to improve security aboard ship is a good one. The ad baculum argument is a special case of argumentum ad consequentium, or appeal to consequences. In this case, painful consequences. Thank you, Commander Spock. Yes, I will ensure I have valid reasons behind my security plans in the future. That would be very advisable if you value your position and your life. Even if an argument seems to make sense, it cannot be valid unless the form is valid and that it does not exhibit one of the logical fallacies such as argumentum ad baculum or the appeal to force. It's only logical. Return to your duties. 